Good morning and welcome back everybody to the garage. This is my little man cave here. Uh, so in a previous video that we did an unboxing, I talked about one of my uh, underbody, I should say, the outdoor RGB waterproof light kit. Uh, so this was a 100 foot kit made by uh, Kendalee. So this guy right here, so this is designed for plugging into a 110 outlet, but today in this video, I'm going to show you and demonstrate how to purpose this for a 12 volt system. Um, now there are several different brands or different kinds out there that happen to use either 24 volt or 36 volt, which I'll discuss here in just a little bit. But for today's purposes, I'm gonna show you how to convert this from a power outlet from your house to tie into a battery such as a car or in my case, my camper. All right, so to get started, some of the things that you're gonna to wanna to use is you're gonna need yourself a pair of wire snips or crimpers. So these you can find virtually anywhere, whether at Target, Amazon, uh, Walmart, uh, several different places, including your auto parts store. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to have, you're gonna to wanna to have yourself a voltometer. So if you're unsure how to identify the wiring marks or if the wiring is correct. You definitely need one of these. This is a must or you will damage the unit. So the next thing that you're also going to see here is the plug. The plug that I have, this is what came with the kit. So this plugs into your, like I said, your 110 outlet. This is a transformer that converts the AC to DC. So it essentially reduces and changes the alter, alternate current to direct current. Um, now, just so we can see here, this particular plug or wire, that has the markings. So that indicates that is your hot wire, meaning the red connector or the red lug on a 12 volt battery. The other side would be your ground. Um, now, if you happen to have a kit that does not have these markings, I will show you how to identify that. So before we get to that point, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So we are tied in, connecting it now here. And I currently have the setting set up for the voice activation or music. So any kind of audio it hears or even just tapping, it's gonna react to it or respond. Uh, so just so you can see, this is a working unit, plugged in out of a 110. Now, as I had mentioned, it is unplugged with the transformer is discharging, so it's fully off now. Those two wires that we talked about earlier, I went ahead and separated the two. So you can kind of see that those are separated. And I also made a mark on there, so I can use the voltmeter to touch the wire itself using the red and black wire from the voltmeter. Plug this back in here. We're now plugged into 110. Now a lot of you are thinking, or will you get shocked if you touch those wires? So the answer is tricky. It's both yes and no. So you will not get shocked in the event if you happen to touch those wires from the DC side. So let's put you down over here. There we go. So there's my 12 volt battery. I can touch those lugs, put my hand across. We have no problem. So I am not a metallic object that will pass a current for the DC side. Fair warning. Alternating current is another scenario that finds the path of resistance. It will hurt. Here we go. So we've got the two wires that I exposed and stripped back. I'm gonna set this guy up here. Let's turn on my bench light. Grabbing the voltmeter, switch this over to the direct current side, which is going to be the solid line and the broken up line. So that is the direct current. Squiggly line is only for alternating current. So let's position this here like so. All right, there we are. That should give you a pretty good angle. Bring it in. 
All right. Now, the wires I have exposed, this is your foolproof. You will never go wrong if you follow this method. So you'll find out whether it's correct or in reverse polarity. Reverse polarity means that you have your positive wire connected to your negative and your negative wire connected to your positive. So I'm going just without looking, touch the two sides. And here we have, it says minus 12.3 volts. So we have reverse polarity. So you do not want to connect this unit with the wiring in backwards. So this particular unit, so we're gonna switch it. So now we're gonna move the red wire over to the one that the black one was on and move the black one to the one that the red one was on. And now we have correct current, 12.3. All right, so we know that those are our positive and negative leads. Now, I'm gonna unplug, as you can see, the transformer pack from the house. Let it discharge for a minute here. Let's put that to the side. And let's move you back up for testing and demonstration. Camera's fighting with me. Good grief. All right, here we go. Welcome back. Turn my bench light off. So the next tool that is coming out for demonstration purposes. These are what's known as alligator clips. You got a red one and a black one. So my black one is going to connect onto the negative lead of the battery. And the red one, obviously, common sense wise says we're going over to the red side. This guy over to the red. We are connected. Look at that. That's exciting. Now on to the next one. So we are not plugging this in at all. I'm going to extend this out and set that right there plug it into the power pack. This does not get changed whatsoever. We do not make any modifications to this. This is already set for 12 volt DC. I'm just going to plug into this plug. Just so you can see, we are not connected. But I will take my alligator clips here. And just remember, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the marking on this, the white side with the broken line, the stripe, for this particular plug, that is the positive. So connect the alligator clip to the bare metal on the wire. And then we're going to connect the ground to the other wire. Just like that. There we go. So we are officially connected to a 12 volt battery. This plug is not plugged in. And it's running directly off of the battery itself. So if you're looking at hooking up your trailer, hooking it up into a car, this serves a whole line of applications that run 12 volt systems. So that is how to set it up. Now, as I mentioned earlier, in the instance, if you happen to have a kit that is a 24 volt or 36 volt. So I'm gonna just briefly talk about parallel and series. So this comes to when you're needing to hook up one of these light kits that has a 24 volt system. So again, the reason why I have two batteries sitting on the bench so I can just kind of talk about real quick what the 24 volt and the 12 volts are. So to achieve a 24 volt system, um, as I was also talking about, reverse polarity. So reverse polarity when you have a direct contact contact with power going into the unit will damage it. Batteries are another scenario. So I'm going to bring you back down to the bench here. Let's move some of this aside. All right. There we go. Back on the bench. Demonstration time. All right. Should be a good angle, right? Okay. Let's flip these two guys around. And take this guy here, just so we can see. I'm going to set that one there, and that one there. And you'll notice 
This one says I've got 12.2 volts. Let's test the other battery right here. This one says I've got 12.9 volts. All right, so we see that they're both 12 volt batteries. Now what series essentially means when you put two batteries together, series is when you're going from a black to a red and you're connecting the wiring harness on the opposite corners of those batteries. So that is series. You're doubling the voltage of your batteries, essentially making it 24 volts. Now parallel is if you go red to red, black to black. And then when you're connecting your wiring, it's just gonna go red or the black and red. So that doesn't double your voltage, that doubles your amp hour. So as an example, this particular battery here says we are four amp hour. So parallel would make these particular batteries eight amps. Series would keep these at four amps, but now 24 volt. And just to kind of give you an idea, let's get my alligator clips back. I'm going to connect the red to the black. Now we tested these. The one battery was 12.2, the other battery was 12.9. So now that these are going to be connected in series, my alligator clip would stay on this one. There we go. I'm going to, and again, the opposite corners, those are still color coded the correct way. So I'm gonna hold this guy up over here. Just like so. And now we're connecting the opposite corner. And look at that, we've got 25 point one volts, we doubled the voltage. So again, if you have an application that requires 24 volts, you're gonna wanna connect batteries in series. Means that you go red to black to make 24 volts. If you have three batteries needed to make 36 volts, it's red to black and then black to red and so on. Uh, each time that you do this, this is how you would double up the voltage on the direct current for the batteries. All right, well, that concludes this particular video. I will have another one to come, just giving a quick demonstration and a visual footage of what my trailer looks like camping-wise and give you the light show and maybe it'll piss off the neighbors. All right, like and subscribe. Have any questions, comments, shoot me a line. Thank you, guys.